Hey folks, uh, my name's Scott and in this video we're going to be answering the question should you buy Bitcoin just now um, with the price increase just going through absolutely through the roof. Um, I'm filming this as of, this is mid-January 2018 so we've had a massive spike um, in the price of Bitcoin, a lot of other cryptocurrencies, Litecoin, Ethereum. Well, we're going to be answering that question in this video, should you buy First, I'd probably just like to introduce myself. My name is Scott Miller. I don't know anything really about Bitcoin. Now, I'm, a, I'm quite a technical guy. I run another YouTube channel called IT Rockstars. My background's at IT. But when it comes to cryptocurrencies, I am, pr I am pretty much not in the know whatsoever. This is the very first video that I'm doing on the subject. But I plan to turn this channel into a Bitcoin channel um, with the hope that it will answer questions for everyone in, in the, the YouTube space that's looking for answers about cryptocurrency. Now, the way that I plan to do that is read up on something and then explain it over the video. So we'll see how that goes. But this this first video, as I say, is about answering the question, should you buy Bitcoin just now? Um, I don't know if you should tell you the truth. Um, I'm not an expert in, in, in it. Um, it's very much hit or miss. Um, from my, my own personal opinion, um, if we look at this um, this graph here that we've got, basically Bitcoin now, a lot of the other cryptocurrencies as well, it's become, oops, sorry, it's become, um, it's bigger than the tulip mania of 1634 to 1637. Now, if you don't know what the tulip mania was, um, it was a massive bubble um, started off, I think, in, in Holland um, way back then. And it was tulips. People were buying up tulips. It was very much like a sort of stock for tulips. Um, and the prices just went crazy. And it's one of the biggest bubbles in sort of financial history. We've obviously had like, the housing market back 10 years ago, 2007, 2008. Um, but now Bitcoin is the biggest bubble. So, you know, maybe six months from now, as I record another video on this, um, we might all be laughing, going, ah, do you remember cryptocurrency? Do you remember Bitcoin? What, what crazy ride that was. Well, we just don't know where it's going to go. Um, and that's my own personal opinion on, on it as well. You really don't know where cryptocurrencies are going to go. Um, no, one, no one knows. And I think what makes this different from other stocks is that it's not tangible. And that's probably why it's went up so much. Um, if, we, if we go back to the year 2000, uh, before year, the year 2000, you had the, the internet bubble and you know, everyone thought the internet was the next big thing. Now, it was the next big thing, but it matured. There was a massive crash, um, and it's matured since then. So I think probably that's what's going to happen with Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies. We're going to have this massive bubble. It might go up further. It might go up for the next year or two, even possibly. We might not be done yet. Um, and then there's going to be a massive crash, but then it'll level out, and then we'll have a sort of proper market. That's all I can say on the matter, really. Um, I don't have any cryptocurrencies myself. I don't hold any whatsoever now. So in this channel, I'm going to be going through the process of buying up what's cheap and um, what's good value, if there is any at the moment. Um, and I'm hopefully going to share some of that knowledge and insight with you. Um, go If I go over to this next um, article here, this is in Zero Hedge. I like to follow Zero Hedge. Now, as I said, I haven't got hold any cryptocurrencies whatsoever, but um, before Christmas... Um, I, uh, I signed up for a, an app um, and I bought some, I think they're called puts or putts. This is how much I know about finance. Um, and what I did with Zero Hedge was every time that I saw that um, either something was going up, that's when I would bet against it. Or if something was going down, that's when I would buy. And that was kind of like my investment sort of theory. I had £100. Um, that's about $120, $30. Um, and I made um, double, I doubled my money basically. And then I sold out and I got out of it. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and sort of invest it in something sort of more real. So I bought some funds instead, equity funds. But this channel, as I say, it's all about Bitcoin. Um, and to answer the question, should you buy Bitcoin now? Um, I would be very cautious just now. Um, this article here, as I said, uh, on Zero Hedge, it says, is Bitcoin dying as a payment option? Um, if we look down this article, um, there have been there have been a lot of uh, sort of big players, uh, big companies like Microsoft, um, Stream, um, and others that were going to implement Bitcoin, but it's too expensive to implement as a digital payment now. It's I mean it's sitting at I think 
$12,000 per Bitcoin. And the other factor is that because the because the, the, the there's such a price fluctuation, um, it's really difficult for the the for these people to implement this as a payment option on their platform. So there's these bigger bigger people that are pulling out of it. Now I think m probably what will happen is that they'll have their own cryptocurrency. So we've got Microsoft here as an uh, an example. They'll come up with their own cryptocurrency. That's what will happen. That won't be called the Microsoft coin or something like that. It'll be a separate company, but it'll be owned by Microsoft. I think that's what will happen. And I think we'll see a lot more of that, a lot more um, a lot more companies releasing their own cryptocurrency. So if 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 you know, if I were thinking ahead of the curve when it came to remember the gold rush, it wasn't the people mining the gold that got rich. It was the uh, it was the guys selling the shovels and the spades that got rich. So it's the sideline people that are probably going to make the most money out of this. If you've bought Bitcoin over the last three or four years, you've made a ton of money. But I think the rush is finished now. Where we'll make money now is in the sideline. So and a, a good example of a sideline would be maybe a company wants to start their own cryptocurrency. How do they go around about, about that? I don't have a clue how to do that. I'll be answering that in a video. How do you start your own cryptocurrency? How do you... How would you build trust and authority in a cryptocurrency? I don't know how you would do that. You know, th these these cryptocurrencies, um, Litecoin, Ethereum, is that, I don't even know that's how you pronounce it, Ripple. How have they managed to, you know, these are just uh, pieces of software that mine, mine nut digits. How have they built this authority that people are investing in them? So that's the question that we have to ask. So I would be investing my money in the companies or the individuals that actually know how to how to actually make bitcoins as in the bitcoin platforms the developers the people that can uh, help a company out and say yeah we can uh, start a cryptocurrency for you those are the guys that are going to make the money um otherwise you're really just speculating the other guys that are making money are the exchanges so if you've got hard cash and you want to um change it into a bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency you know, it's like a a transaction fee, like with any foreign currency. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I think now the other way that where you make where you'd make money would be um, investing in the actual exchanges or platforms or websites or apps all around that. So that's my thought for today. I'm hoping to actually release a video every day about cryptocurrencies and answer a question. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you like this video, please subscribe and you can join me in the journey where we try and answer what the hell Bitcoin cryptocurrencies are all about. All right, I'll catch you later, guys. Bye.